Hey, hello, today we are going to make Lebanese sausage. What we need is we need one pound of suet. If you cannot get suet, you can get fat. Fat, one pound of fat, lamb fat or beef fat is fine. You need four pounds of lamb shoulder. If you cannot get lamb shoulders, leg of lamb will work. Trim the fat as much as you can from it. We have one cup of white wine, quarter cup of white vinegar. I have about half cup of uh, pine nuts. I have two tablespoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of lemon pepper, or regular pepper will be fine if you don't like the lemon in it. I have two tablespoons of salt. I have a quarter cup of coriander seeds, quarter teaspoon of cloves, and I like garlic, so I added five cloves of garlic. If you don't like it, that's fine, you don't have to add it. Or, at this point, you can add whatever you like. If you like curry, add curry. If you like heat, add, you know, red pepper. You're the boss of your sausage, so you add whatever you want. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start grinding my coriander with the cloves in my grinder here. Okay, I'm gonna put the coriander, the cloves. Okay, so that's ready. Okay, so next step here is we have, I want to grind uh, the suet and the meat and the meat together. So, I'm grinding here. So now the next step here, I, I, I grounded my uh, meat and my suet together. So this is the consistency I have here, which is good. And by the way, I am using the coarse disc on the grinder, the coarse disc. So <clears throat> the one with the big hole, I guess. So now I'm going to start adding my spices here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the vinegar. I'm going to add half of the wine. I'm going to add the cinnamon, the salt, the lemon pepper, the coriander and cloves that I ground before, and the garlic. I'm going to leave the pine nuts until the end. Some people like to grind the pine nuts too. I don't like that. I like to, the whole pine nuts, to see the whole pine nuts. So I'm going to leave the pine nuts to the end, but if you like, you can add it to your mixture here and grind it again. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to mix it and grind it again. So right now I want to mix it a little bit here together and then I'm going to run it through the grinder again and it's going to be nicely mixed. Okay. So now let's turn this on. And run it again here. Okay, now that everything is nicely mixed, I'm going to add the rest of my wine here. And I'm going to add my pine nuts. And I'm going to give it a nice mix. Some people like less pine nuts, more pine nuts, that's fine. I like pine nuts in everything, so it makes a great flavor. So I'm going to make a little nice mix. And now at this point here, I'm going to cover this with a towel, put it in the fridge overnight, and then the next day 
we are going to stuff them in sheep casing or lamb casing so I'm going to cover everything and leave it overnight at this point here if you don't want to mess with the casing and all this and the sausage maker what you could do is you can make patties put them in the frying pan fry them they taste wonderful or you can freeze them and uh, for later so after I let the meat sit in the fridge for uh, 24 hours now I'm ready to stuff it so I have here my meat I have here pre-tubed uh, lamb casing the difference between the pre-tubed and the regular casing that you get it's very tedious to get it in the tube in the sausage maker so the pre-tubed all you do is slide this in slide it out and you're ready to go if you get the one that doesn't that is not pre-tubed it's very tedious to get it in your uh, stuffer I have the scissors so I can cut I have my stainless steel tray and this is my sausage uh, stuffer I have here the uh, 3 8 of an inch tube and this is a 5 pound stuffer you can get any size you want and they come in any size any shapes if you go to Google you can find whatever you like but this is for me this works great it's small it does about 5 pounds I'm going to take the meat and I'm going to put it in the stuffer and while I'm putting it I will pack it so I can get the air bubbles out I don't want any air bubbles okay so I will pack it really good in there and I press okay I'm putting back my stuffer in there and I will turn this Now, I'm going to put some olive oil here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my casing. I will cut this. I'm going to Put the tube in. So I'm going to put my casing in, feed it. So now that I have all my casing in there. I can start stuffing. So what I will do is I will make a knot here. Okay.
Okay, so here, again, to link them, this is my middle. I pinch it, twist it, and then depending how long I like them, I pinch both, both sides and I twist them together. And I take one end, it doesn't matter which end, and I loop it through. Again, I pinch two sides, I twist them, I take one end and I loop it through. Then I will cut off the ends here. And here is my sausage link. Okay, so I will finish all the meat. And then, after that, what you can do is, you have to leave them in the fridge overnight, so they can dry. After that, you can take them, you can put them in the frying pan right away, or you can freeze them. And then you can use them whenever you want to eat sausage. That's it. That's your sausage making.